Good morning slash afternoon traders. This is Michael from MR Strategies. Uh, I'm going to possibly throw in a little brief afternoon observation um, of these last three trading sessions as quickly as I possibly can. Um, taking a look right or quickly at your daily, obviously. And this is why I, I often speak about understanding the state of the market. And we have been in this bull trend for so long at just different levels of it. It's basically acceleration or correction and acceleration. I mean, these are just extreme. This is kind of a new trade. You know, it's just extreme to one end and then and to the other end. And this is how you just see the, the wild volatility and swings and, and price and how it just gets overdone. But it makes it challenging. And this is yet another perfect example of the bull trend acceleration back kicking itself back in oops well I gotta figure out how to get that back but I was trying to make a trend line seeing how strong this turn off of these lows has taken place but you know quickly taking a look at your uh, your 15 and then today's chart which I just lost give me a second like I said I need time on this I'm going to put this over here. This is today's, and this is the daily. Here's your 15, and this is your inner day of today. And you can just see the strength of the market. And I've made these quick locations for you. I mean, this is the third day in a row that we gapped higher and struggled to give any of it back. I mean, that's how strong this has been. Um, you know, it's challenging for me because I, I fade I fade these levels and I'm looking for it to kick back a little bit and establish itself for the opportunity but it's been so strong that at the end of the day you have to you have to respect you have to respect the market and what it's trying to tell us two three days in a row this thing took off from the moving averages yesterday it did today before the opening by the time the opening bell came in we were already up there so you know this is how I look at it, and I'm trying to take advantage of the weakness early. And it, it was challenging. I mean, it paid off a couple of times for me. And then, unfortunately, in doing so, I lost sight of the actual trend. And at the end of the day, you got to pay, you know, as a trader, you have to A, respect it, and B, take what you can get, you know. So, like, again, you know, because of the way I trade, I'm taking – the weakness I'm fading the actual strength of the market and I'm looking at the prove itself and I should have been paying a little more attention you know but when you're thinking one way is tough and you can see right here in your daily or your, the other day that right away 92 is your number you can look at all that support right there and I think the tell was once we got that sell off look where it stopped it stopped right at the MA 94 or I take it back 84 and that left a gap down to 70 and 70 is going to be the big number overall period for some reason and I could and, I, and it should be because during a the week it was the big resistance area that I talked about has become support you can see in this location right here this is that 7980 big resistance area and there's the 70 gap fill I just don't know if we're going to get it so I think anything under 92 under uh, R1 you, you, you see where the market's at at that point. But right now, the market's got nothing but strength. I mean, we're above R1, and we're pushing. So you have to respect that these two great trades, I mean, three, I actually missed them all because I was short into most of these locations, and they turned. You know, I'm lowering my stop. I'm managing things a little better. I don't want to give back too much. But, you know, because I'm looking for this thing to roll completely over, and it's not. So... You know, obviously the challenge is what side you want to take, but trend, trade the trend. And right here, it, once again, the market showed another, show strength at 92 and change, 93, gave you a run up, rolled over, came right back to it, and gave you this big move right here. And now we're just building a base above it. So watch the trend line, see what happens, and see what happens around R1 if this thing is going to roll over for the afternoon. I mean, we still have that gap below us, but this market is just so bullish. And I mean, this is the new trade. 
But, you know, this is really, I think, is based off the information we got from the infl non-inflationary numbers. You know, it's interesting because the market factored in the possibility of inflation with that huge sell-off. And then it just rallied all the way back. And all of a sudden you get confirmation. It's almost like, you know, the news is already in there. And this is why you have to pay attention to, you know, what the bigs are doing and how they're really manipulating the price. So question is, how much of this afternoon we hold on to? And I say that because look what's happened in the previous sessions. I mean, I didn't, I wasn't even on yesterday afternoon. And this thing dropped 30 handles in 20 minutes. I don't know if some news came out. Once again, it happened earlier in the week, too. So I don't know if that's going to be the trend for the afternoon. You know, the, you know. This is why we trade. We stay on for these opportunities, and you know we wait and see if they if they materialize. So this is just the update for March. I believe today is the tenth, and you know you're in a bull trend acceleration. You have to respect it, and you know pay attention to any failure at the extremes on both sides. That's you know that's how I trade, and at the end of the day, you have to respect the. Uh, the strength of this market. This right here is a double double bottom at at 3,900. It's probably going to catapult these on this system. This will probably provide an upper buy opportunity. You know, I'm kind of sitting on my hands. I don't like these locations. This could turn into chop. So I'm going to hold off and wait to see what happens. I mean, I'm still at this. You know, prove it to me that this stuff is really worthy of its level you know what i mean but i'm not going to fight it so you know in fact i might be prone to look for the short here but we'll see we'll see how this plays out all right guys have a great day and i'll check it with you guys later